Welcome to Thoroughbred Times on the Scene. I'm Tom Law. I'm with Joe Seitz, Director of Sales at Brookdale Sales. We're out here at the Keeneland September Yearling Sale. A couple days before the sale, skies have finally let up. No more rain. The sun is out. And Joe, the buyers are out today. They sure are. I've been pleasantly surprised. We really haven't stopped. Of course, right now, when you're here with the camera, it's a little quiet, but it's been great. Horses are out the whole time, showing well. This comfortable weather is terrific because they're on their toes instead of us having to chase them around. So I'm, I'm optimistic. Well, I say the buyers are out. I guess I should more say the, uh, the lookers are out. Uh, what kind of feedback are you getting so far? You have a couple horses in book one. Obviously, you have a few more horses down the road in book two and then throughout the rest of the sale. What kind of feedback are you getting both about your horses and maybe what are you hearing about the rest of the horses on the grounds? Well, for our horses, we're getting good feedback, but it, again, well, I should say at the beginning, most people are just doing their first looks. So as subsequent days, I'll be able to tell you a lot more about that. But I'm getting good reactions, and they're spending the quality time on them that they should. Um, with the sale in general and the horses on the grounds, I've had some comments about this is a really good group. So uh, the tote board will tell. But so far, so good. We're really pleased with the action. What do you think the uh, the market is going to, you know, how do you think the market's going to respond to maybe some of the, the good news that the industry has seen so far this year? You know, you're seeing upticks in uh, lots of different factors, uh, but obviously some of the sales that have gone through this year, the North American two-year-old sales did pretty well. So far, the, the smaller yearling sales, I say smaller, I just mean in terms of numbers, the, the Saratoga sale and the July sale here in Kentucky, the Deauville sale over in Europe did pretty well. Is that a good indicator for what's going to happen here in September over the next two weeks or so? Well, it's difficult to predict, but all of those indicators are healthy. So. You're either positive or you're negative, you know, yeah. and those are positive indicators. So we're going to take them and we're going to move forward with it and hope that it translates into this sale, which is much bigger. So this is a real cross-section of the entire industry, and this will tell us. You can't hide from the numbers. But um, with the earlier sales being up, uh, particularly in Florida, New York, Timonium, um, those are all good signs. So I am, I'm optimistic. We have gone through a serious contraction, and we've dealt with a recession now for what is this going on three or four years. So I think maybe we're leveling out, and hopefully demand is finally matching supply. Um, but we'll know for sure over the next week or two.